we'll kind of frustrate him on there with feels like what two points dropped at the end just get your thoughts on that one yeah we wasn't good enough in the first half nowhere near good enough um, and then obviously having a chat with the gaffer and everything at half time I thought that we played well second half we really flipped on its head yeah, it's a, it's a tough one to take really because, you know, they didn't really look like scoring at all and then obviously last minute of the game it's always a bit of one to take. They had a, a couple of, you know, chances, I think it was Patterson in the first half, Muldoon as well and then right at the end you're coming out with a couple of saves but it must be really frustrating not to see that game out with the way it was going as well. Yeah, yeah, like, like I've said before, like I'd rather have no saves to make and then we get the three points and get the clean sheet but um, it's one of those I was there when obviously I was needed and thankfully I made a couple of saves but I feel as though it's just really disappointing there. But it's still a point on the road, you have to try and take the positives from that, it's now six unbeaten, the confidence is there and it's all about keeping that momentum going in the group isn't it? Yeah 100% like obviously it's a tough one but we'll dust ourselves down and at the end of the day it's another point as you said and unbeaten run carried on so we've just got to take that into the next game. And for yourself, you won't be at the next game. A call-up for England under 21s. That must be going to be a really good experience for you again. Yeah, hundred percent. Like like the last time, it was just getting the experience, and you know, I'm buzzing to join up with the lads and that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And we'll have Jack Rose in your you know absence, but working alongside him closely, you know, you're confident and you know exactly what he's going to be like, and it'll be, you know good for him to get some game time as well yeah 100% like I feel as though we're just going to keep improving especially from the start of the season with the competition between me and, and Rosie um, so obviously with me obviously getting the game time he's, he's trying to you know find his way into the squad and I think that on Saturday he'll try and put his uh, name out there and try and you know stay into the team as well so it's good competition and for uh, on a final note, there was nearly 600 travelling fans there, so you go over and embrace somebody at the end. I think you've done it in the last couple of games as well, but it's more fantastic support again, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. Like, even when I was down in the second half, you can always hear them and everything. It's a massive boost, and it's like our 12th man, really. So, uh, yeah, I went to go see my, my mum and dad at the end there. Uh, they came up to, came to watch, but yeah, just being able to hear them, it's quality.